Hello again, everyone. Welcome to St Mary's Stadium, the home of Southampton Football Club. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Premier League football we have for you. It's coming right up. It's Southampton against Leicester City. Well, what an arena we've got here. Perfectly suited to football and two very noisy sets of fans. What a backdrop that should be to what on paper should be a, an entertaining match. Number 14. Oriol Ramoon, number nine, Danny Ings, number seven, Shane Long, and number 22, Nathan Redman. Here's the Southampton team for you. Ryan Bertrand starts despite looking shaky in recent games. James Ward Prowse plays with Oriol Romeu in midfield. Shane Long is the main striker today. Lineup. Kasper Schmeichel starts in goal. Yuri Tielemans plays with Wilfred Ndidi in midfield. Jamie Vardy is the lone striker today. Thank you for attending St Mary's Stadium. I love talking about Leicester City to you because obviously you were on the inside, your whole career developed within that football club and those memories must still be very vivid today. Well it was uh, a lovely club to play for back then when I did in the early 80s and I think it's retained that character even up until this day. Oriol Romeo, Bertrand. Trying to stretch the opposition, using the wider areas here. Oriol Romeo. Nathan Redmond could get the ball into the box now. It's a very good clearance, and it was needed. say you'd prefer to score from 25 yards but I wouldn't go along with that this is all about instinct a good look here again by the replay of the goal so it's Southampton with the lead oh, for Southampton number seven Shane Long Ben Chilwell, Madison, Ndidi, Tielemans, Iose Perez. Now, can they make this count? Keeping the ball well in a dangerous area now. Here's Iose Perez. Tielemans, time to get the ball in. Well, he's got the ball there and dealt with the danger, really. Cedric, it's Ward Prowse, Yoshida, Oriol Romeo, James Ward Prowse, Nathan Redmond, and the tackle there is successfully done. Interception here. He's back heeled it nicely to a supporting player. And it's a shot now! What an important goal this may well be. A two ahead now, building a platform for victory. And that's what you call unstoppable. Hit with power, hit into the bottom right hand corner. And here is another angle on that goal.
restarting at 2-0. Goal for Southampton, number nine, Danny Ings. So easy in possession. Now it's a corner. In goes the corner. That's a difficult technique, that. Yeah, you've got to catch those volleys perfectly to do the damage. The hosts had more than enough of the ball today, and I've been really impressed by the way they've gone about the business, taken the game to the opposition, they've dictated the tempo, they're totally in control, can they see it through to the end? Couldn't keep it. Tielemans. Chowdhury. It's long. Redmond. With great vision here. Not able to take full advantage of a good position. Tielemans. Not a turnover in play here with that interception. He's got some room out here in the wide position. Good stop by the goalkeeper. We've got to clear it now. And there's the interception. Redmond. Here's Yoshida. Here's Cedric Suarez. Oh, he's playing it back to the goalkeeper. The referee has indicated there and will the be a minimum of two minutes. Another two minutes time. added on by the referee. Redmond. Oriol Romeo. It's long. Half time now. And 2 0 is the score at the break. I just wonder whether the occasion's getting the better of them. We really expected a bit more so far. Well, his team are losing, and uh, I'm sure his defenders and midfielders will be demanding a bit more, a lot more perhaps, from this attacker who needs to start hitting the target. So the referee's happy, and the second half gets underway. Out to a wide man who's got room. He's gone over the line here. That really shouldn't have done so. Stevens. Nathan Redmond. Teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here. Made sure the pass wasn't completed. Here's Iosi Perez. Ricardo Pereira. Iosi Perez. Well, that's what they've been looking for. The ball in behind. Blocked well by the defender. He's got support in the centre. We had a chance, really, to put that into a much more dangerous area. Has to go down as a poor cross. It's Ward Prowse. Yoshida. Cedric. Here's Danny Ings. Lovely ball. Well, that was an opportunity for him to score again. Well played by the goalkeeper, who this time got the better of him. Yeah, good use of the legs and his positioning really did narrow down the angle. In from Ward Prowse. Chowdhury. Ndidi.
Leicester ready to make this change. Redmond. Long. It's Ings. Oh, I spotted the pass and cut it out. Taking on a couple of opponents now. Got past his marker. A couple of teammates up in support. Well, they've got to keep the crosses coming in. I'm sure in the end it will deliver something, but it didn't this time. It's Ings. Oriol Romeo. Madison. Tielemans. Chowdhury. James Madison. Vardy. To get back in the game. Push back out into... And this is a goal! Well, it's no coincidence. How many goals like this has he scored? He's just got ability to sniff out the chance, to anticipate when the keeper's going to spill it. kind of goal that forwards love actually because it rewards their ability to follow in their anticipation yeah it ends up being a simple looking goal but it wasn't as you say it was about anticipation off we go again 2-1 that's the city goal for the nine Jimmy Vardy. It's Leicester City who are going to make the substitution. Ryan Bertrand. Saw it coming. Cut it out. Good work. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. It's Jamie Vardy. Vardy! Not far away at all, but they're still behind. And they're well on top, and they will be confident they'll get another chance at least. And on the clock, eight more minutes. They read the opponent's mind and got the ball. It's a terrific effort by the home side here. They've just kept their noses in front, and they're going to need all the support they can get for that to continue to the final whistle. Yeah, if they do end up... It's a shot! Very able to get his body in the way. Quick-witted and quick in his movement, too, to intercept there. So this should wrap it up. Oh, Got to do better than that, really, to beat the keeper. Yeah, because he is a good goalkeeper. Good positioning. That might be a good idea just to get a fresh player on and cement their position as they look to hold on to this league. Corner's taken. The fourth official is in the That's a good block. Three minutes of heavy time. Here's Danny Ings. Armstrong. Tries the shot here. Well, that's his second today. He's certainly got his shooting boots on. And he is the kind of player that can hit his straps like this. Excellent day for him. Oh, don't they look good when they fly in like that? Could easily have gone anywhere else in the stadium. But it's gone where he wanted it to go, that's for sure. Yeah, that's the sign of a natural finisher. That one touch finish it really was a beauty three one the score line as we restart Goal the game for Southampton number seven Shane and there is Lock. the final whistle
What a brilliant performance from this fella. Well, so often we think of his creative abilities, but a couple of goals here have won the match for his team.